The drive through cinema experience will allow you to enjoy a local movie in the comfort of your own car tuned into a frequency. Now, this will be happening at the Walter Sisulu Botanical Gardens in Rodeport and Mary Fitzgerald Square in Newtown starting from the 25th of September. It's uniquely positioned to limit physical contact yet provides a comfortable movie space. And for more, we joined by the organizer, Linda Kinya. Linda, a very good morning to you. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to Morning Live. Thank you so much for having me. Uh, actually, last year, this time around, I was at Morning Lab with the lovely Miss Paul Schwingwe for the Women in Film Dialogue. So thank you for having me guys once again. Sure, I remember that very well. Now, first of all, the, the drive through <laughs> cinema experience, do tell us a bit more about this event. So uh, this is an old traditional way of screening movies. You know, it was started back in the 80s and the 90s. And uh, if you have a vague memory, there was once upon a time one, a uh, massive poison, you know. And through this COVID uh, program uh, pandemic, I just thought, hey, man, why not I create an experience for other SMMEs as well to benefit from it, you know, starting from the local filmmaker. I, as a filmmaker as well, I know the struggles of making a film and not having the distribution channels of selling the film as well, you know. So I spoke to my good friends at Walter Tsula Botanical Gardens in Utah. I was like, guys, I've been doing uh, outdoor screenings. Why don't we create something different, uh, which is going to be family oriented? I applied for my permits with departments of arts and culture. I got approved on level three. And I just thought, hey, man, let's create a culture uh, for movie makers and SMMEs as well to benefit from the program. Yeah. Mm. Uh, just thinking of the space limitations, uh, how many cars can you accommodate per venue? So we, we, we because uh, with the current pandemic on uh, level three, we were only allowed to have 25 people per session. So that's 25 uh, cars with two people inside, you know. So uh, seeing that the president has allowed another level, we are going to increase gradually every week. Because in total, I have uh, 40 movies, local movies to screen. Okay. You know, so we call it a new theme, which is called, it's called New Movie Fridays. So every Friday, we're going to be screening a new local movie. So as time goes, every week, we are going to be uh, adding more numbers as well for people to come. Okay, you've just mentioned that there's a limit of two people in a single car. So is there an age restriction yeah. to the drive through cinema experience? Yes, yeah, so currently, uh, we are working for a kiddies program as well. Because I have our four local uh, cartoons that are coming up as well that I'd like to showcase. So as time goes by, uh, I am going to share the information. But people can currently check at drivethroughsa.co.za. Uh, That's the website. That's where you can purchase tickets. I'll share all the movies that uh, we'll be screening. Like uh, the first one is called uh, Letters of Hope by uh, Mr. Fus Africa. That's going to be the opening film on the 25th of September. Uh -huh. Now do paint a picture for us, if you can, what the setup is like. So uh, we're having a, an 11 meter screen, LED, mm -hmm. and then we have a parking lot set up. So people are going to be parked at a parking lot. Uh, tickets are 200 rand uh, individually, and then it's 250 rand for two people uh, inside a car, which is, uh, it includes refreshments as well. So as you come into the venue, you get your parking bay, you get your food, you get to watch a local movie with your partner or your friend or your family member. You know? So we're running a simulcast broadcast of the same thing. So the same screening that's happening at Walter Sisulu Botanical Gardens is the same screening that's happening uh, at Mary Fitzgerald Square as well. Mm -hmm. And starting from the 25th of September, how long will this be running for? So we're going to be running the program for about 14 Fridays. So I anticipate 25th of September until the 25th of December. Because in total I have 14 movies and I'd like to give all my 14 filmmakers and uh, possibly 50 uh, SMEs to come uh, so at the at the at the, at the drive through cinema experience. Wow. Okay. And how is the safety of people watching the movie guaranteed? Uh, so I'm currently in uh, my job process. Actually, thank you so much for asking that question. Uh, on Tuesday, I am meeting uh, the job uh, community. Uh, we presenting all our job uh, presentations. So part of our job uh, schedule, we have JNPD, we have SAPS. I uh, also would like to invite SNDF as well. Uh, and uh, I have additional security company that's going to help us. Okay. And uh, all the activations will be running for three hours. So we ensure people's safety at all times. Our, their safety is our priority. Okay. As this is a definite uh, must-see, I mean, uh, any plans to expand it to other parts of Houteng? Yes, 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 definitely. I'd like to call the Department of Arts and Culture to fund us so I can give other SMEs in other provinces 
as well an opportunity to have the drive through experience, you know. Because I, as an entrepreneur and a filmmaker, I went through six months of difficulty on not having finance, you know. So this is something that's creating opportunity for other SMEs. And this is definitely something I can call the Department of Arts and Culture on. Uh, NYTA as well, Mr. Osteen Karim. I call you guys to assist. I mean, this is a great opportunity. I mean, in Dalibam, so if this is an opportunity for makers to make money, why not? I've got the problem. I'm sure. calling you guys to assist me uh, yeah. about the last. Yeah, yeah. And for more on this experience, where can people get information? www.drivethroughsa.co.za. That's where you can book your tickets. Uh, you can pay for your tickets on the site. The site will automatically send you your tickets. You can choose your venue. And yeah, let's make it experience. I'm calling everyone to help our filmmakers and I'm calling everyone to help our SMMEs. And uh, just in closing, I am going to give SMMEs as well a program to advertise. So I'm going to give them digital advertising space. Uh -huh. uh, before we play them and just after we uh, close off the movie because currently we're not allowed to sell, you know. Okay. So from my uh, company, Pusha Panda Trading and Drive Through Essays, we're saying SMEs has an opportunity for you to to screen your content. Uh, just send us an email at info at drive through and we'll get back to you with all the details. Okay. I mean, this is so cool, Linda. I mean, it's not just about the movie itself, but it's about the experience. You're just investing in, in your experience. You know, thank you so much uh, for this initiative and thanks for chatting to us this morning. Thank you. And I invite you guys as well. I'll send you guys the invite. Thank what? you so much for the interview. You know what? I'm, I, I've already logged in and uh, yeah, <laughs> you'll definitely see me. <laughs> <there>. <laughs> thank, you. thank you. But you don't have to purchase a ticket. I'll send you a ticket to stuff now. Yeah, for sure. Great stuff. Thank you so much, Linda. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Jerry. All right. We just spoke to Linda Guinea, the organizer of the Drive Through Cinema Experience. Now, the first installment, as you mentioned, will be on the 25th of September at the Walter Sisulu Botanical Gardens in Rodeport and Mary Fitzgerald Square in Newtown.